Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. Oh, I need to put on my shoes. Gotta put them shoes back on. We're gonna go find a beach, though. Speaking of which, uh, this has gonna. nothing to do with what Fine. we're about to talk about, uh, or what we just talked about. I was just telling a story to Brittany right beforehand, <laughs> and Brittany was like, okay, you, you have to tell the story yeah, on the show. Okay, so... Um, we went to too many games last year. Not the not the one that happened this summer. We planned on it, but I got sick. That's still last year. Yeah, well, last year's too many games, <laughs> and um, we uh, we got to go see Crush Forty, which I was super excited about. But it was just the guy who sings. I don't know his name. It's like Johnny Goodball or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Johnny Goodball. <laughs> What the fuck? That's not even a believable name. I love it. I'm going to start calling him Johnny Goodball. <sighs> if you don't know who Crush 40 is, they're the people who sing the Sonic, Sonic. songs. They sing a lot of Sonic songs. It's a nerd band. So. And um, I love like all their music. I was really excited because I love the Sonic Adventure soundtracks and whatnot. But I... Got to see them last year, and he he shittily did only like a twenty. First minute of set. all, no, you need to back it up. There's two people in Crush Forty, right? Two people. Well, only one one of them showed up. Yeah, the guitarist wasn't there, <laughs> and the guy who sings is like, "All right, we need to get some people on stage to do some air instruments." Yeah. So he picks out like these four or five people out of the crowd to like come up and pretend like they're playing instruments. Yeah. While he, he hooks a... his iPod up to like speakers mm -hmm. and just sings, and I'm like, "Holy Christ, what are we watching right now?" On, on top of that, he has another iPad out in the crowd just in case he forgets the lyrics. Yeah. So. I'm with like, just wow, the lyrics up. Super glad we came all the way to Philadelphia for this. <laughs> yep. Um, so I we're watching this. I'm like, okay, this is weird, but I'm gonna just enjoy what I can. And he sings a bunch of great songs, stuff I'm really about. And then it gets to the end, and I realize, oh, it's over. It's the end. It's only been like 20 minutes. And I'm like. You didn't well, even sing City Escape. Yeah, so Brian is like yelling City I'm Escape. Pissed. I'm pissed. I'm talking about this for like a couple of days. Actually, what you've been talking about this for like a year. I'm getting to that. Jeez, let me tell oh, a story, okay. Brittany. Sorry. My God. And I'm, t I'm thinking. I'm like <laughs> talking about a couple of days. We even watch ourselves watching it live on a stream. I'm telling everyone on the stream. Year a year goes by. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to go see him again. And I watch, uh, I didn't get to see him at too many games again, but I did go watch his live show. Mm. Was and it just him again? It was just him again. Exact same show. It was the exact <laughs> same show. Same oh, songs, man. everything. And I'm like, he still didn't do City Escape. So I'm listening to the Sonic Adventure 2 soundtrack. And I start listening to City Escape. And I'm like, oh, he doesn't sing City Escape. <laughs> so Brian was basically like yelling Freebird in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, the, the right? Sonic equivalent of play Freebird. Yeah, it's like it's not my song, man. I can't play that song. <laughs> Granted. So this he, is what Zelda's Oh, wow. Like. I like it. It's classy. Yeah, it's pretty classy. I've been hoping you'd drop by my place, Brittany. What can I do for you? <laughs> It says the no this is the sound of my voice that I'm, I'm putting on this guy. I was so jealous. I wish I could go be involved in some scandals. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. So yeah, Brian made a big ass out of himself for like I a did. whole year. I did. <laughs> But to be honest, he does sing a song that's also not his. Uh, he sings Sonic Boom, which is not one of his songs either. You should write up a fake letter of cease and desist. <laughs> and it just says, like, Boom Industries in the top corner. It's uh -huh. like, stop singing that song. It's not your song. Um, that's not it, though. Um, I, uh... Yeah, actually, that is. Sorry, I don't know what I was... <laughs> you are trying to segue, and you can't... I can't segue. You're having to trouble. You know what? You just fell off your segue. Yeah, I did. It's already gone. It's it, gone. Like, kept, it's kept going, it kept and going. I'm just sitting on my butt in Luckily, the middle of the road. you had your helmet on, your segue yeah, helmet. Yeah, it's a good thing. You know what? You should go to the museum. Why? Uh, I want to I wanna go see uh, our space room real quick. Okay. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't exist anymore. It does, too. I got rid of it when uh, you weren't looking. You can't... I've been looking this every time. Mm, have you though? Uh, okay, well, go to the one with the moon have in it. Because I want to see it. I need to add more stuff to that room. Yeah, we haven't really done this stuff in a little bit. Yeah. 
We should probably get to it. Get to it. Get to it. I gotta get it together. All right. What is happening so, here? Brittany, what is this even? The reason why I want you to come in here is I want you to look at that moon real hard. Because we're going to celebrate National Moon Day. <gasps> National Moon Day? Today is National Moon Day. Wow. On July 20th, 1969, we went Apollo to 11. the moon in 1969. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you watch Even Stevens. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Apollo 11 landed the first humans. Oh. Americans Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Six hours after landing, Armstrong stepped onto the lunar surface. He spent two and a half hours outside the spacecraft, and he was soon followed by Buzz Aldrin. While Aldrin spent slightly less time on the moon than Armstrong, together they collected around uh, 47.5 pounds of lunar material to bring back to the Earth. I brought junk bag. Michael Collins piloted <laughs> Apollo 11 and remained around uh, alone in orbit until Armstrong and Aldrin returned. Space junk. So, moon yeah. rocks. Moon rocks are just like regular rocks. They're not. They're actually completely different. I'm just singing a song, Brian. Well, too bad. I'm about to science <laughs> it up in here and tell you you're oh, wrong. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. I don't know. That's a very specific time of basalt. Oh, okay. Basalt. Basalt rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have anything to say. All I right. just got told. <laughs> just got told. Done did. Done did. Done did told. All right. Well, no, seriously, go check out the moon today. Yeah. And maybe you'll you'll see a white flag on there. Did you because even see what the moon, if it's probably a new moon today? So I have there no, is no idea. Moon. Let me check. <laughs> Let me oh, see. what is all this? What? That's Brian typing on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. It's very... All right. Full moon oyster bar. Full moon oyster Full bar. buck moon. What? Farmer's <laughs> arc uh, almanac. Oh, that's the farmer's almanac. Yeah. Apparently, the full moon this month is a... Uh, as Go down a, full a little bit. Buck moon. Go down a little bit. All right. Oh yeah. no! So it'll be a first quarter. Okay, just cool. after the first quarter. You can't look at the moon then. It's waxing yeah, yeah. right now, which means it's getting big. Getting big. We're gonna have a full moon on the twenty seventh. Yeah, the new moon was on the twelfth. So. Anywho, guys, you can look at the moon today. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> um, go check it out. Uh, I'm a big space nerd. I love reading about the Apollo missions and our current missions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. The Apollo missions are still the furthest we've ever been away from the Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, and we barely, barely get away from the Earth now. Yeah. Like, it's if, too um, scary. if you were on, if the Earth was an apple, uh, the moon would be about four inches away from it. Yeah. And that's how far we went. Mm-hmm. And right now, you could just barely hover your finger just over the skin of the apple. That's how far we go now. Really? Yeah, we barely go any distance now. Too scary. It's too scary. We too did it scary. once. It's so scary. Too scary. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, wait. What? He lost it again. What's Which joke is this? His inspiration joke, I think. Okay. I don't know. We'll see what I get. I got some inspirations. I was thinking about your... Oh, I'll just get through it too. Yeah, inspiration. All, All right, right, let's see what it is. Oh, it's just like oh, an idea. Oh, hello! I have an idea. Oh, wow. This... <laughs> well, Brittany, I have an idea. Yeah? About this next national day, because, of course, it is a food one. Yeah. Today is National Lollipop Day. Ooh. So... Ever delightful and sweet lollipops have been satisfying the sweet tooth for generations and poss possibly for centuries. They ha may have been a way to preserve nuts and berries and honey during prehistoric times. Much later, when sugar was plentiful, lollipops appeared in the 16th century Europe. Wow, that's an old-ass lollipop. That's some old-ass lollipop. Old-ass lollipop. But yeah, lollipops. Go check them out. Um... Go check them out. They're delicious. I love the gourmet lollipops I used to sell for fundraisers in like did high you school. Just eat them all. The, of I did. I had to buy my box. So your mom had to buy your box. I bought my box every time. Mm. I just they were like whatever. That's cool. And I just I was like I'm gonna eat this whole box. <laughs> and I did. Well, 
That's a thing. Actually, that was the thing about me in uh, high school. Uh, everyone who was selling like candy or candy bars or yeah. whatever, they knew to come to me. Yeah, because you'd buy them yeah. instantly. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, give me that candy bar. Yeah, I would probably have sold to you too. Everyone did. Everyone sold to me when <laughs> I was in high school. Because I was like, yeah, give me, uh, give me, I got a dollar. Give me all of it. Got a dollar. And um, I used to, uh, I probably bought at least <clears throat> a candy bar every week in high school from some random person. So, Did you have just like random clubs and stuff selling? Yeah, just like, some, yeah some random club was selling. I don't yeah, know. I remember we sold candy in the eighth grade for our like end of class trip. Uh-huh. Um, and th- that was easy to sell because you were in like my middle school and my elementary school were combined into one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have all those like little kids with their mm-hmm. parents give them money and they all have a dollar to yep. buy a candy bar. They all want it. A candy bar. Yep. Uh, and then in high school, I was in the art club. We sold them there. So not everybody had a box, you yeah. know, so people would buy it in high school too. So Yeah. I, I love that stuff. So I, and whenever Gourmet Lollipops came out, I was a big fan of those. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, they're pretty good. You got any you got any lollipop stories, Brittany? Um, no, I never Oh, actually I do have a lollipop story. Lollipop stories. The gourmet lollipops, right? The fundraiser mm-hmm. ones. Mm-hmm. So I was hanging out by the river one day by myself. Oh oh, <laughs> okay. And there uh so I should explain the river that I'm talking about is right next to my mom's house. It's just like up and over the hill. Yeah. And I had my license in, so I had like parked on the side where everyone parks to go down and go fishing. Mm-hmm. And I was just hanging out by the river and I went under underneath the bridge that it's a really tall bridge with a highway like mm-hmm. goes across the river and i found a cardboard box full of those lollipops okay and i'm pretty sure it was like somebody on a school bus was being a dick and threw either their lollipops or someone else's lollipops out the window uh-huh and i found like a whole box and they were still in their wrappers they were perfectly fine there was uh-huh. nothing wrong with them yeah so i took them home and i said i Hell found yeah. these <laughs> my mom's Hell like what yeah. do you have and i was like i found these lollipops under the bridge <laughs> I found all kinds of weird shit when I started driving because I would just drive around the places. Well, no, uh, on top of that, like, we have a cast iron pan that your grandpa found in the ground and fixed up. And he, Well, he found it in uh, the creek. Well, you yeah. had, like, a really big storm and the creek washed it down. Yeah. And we found all kinds of... If you live near a body of water that flows, you'll find all kinds of weird crap. Yeah, yeah, so... <laughs> and we're just like, don't want it to go to waste. Yeah. So, yeah. Can't say nothing there. I'm going to buy this. This is nice. Well, Brittany, you're going to be get real excited because we're going about to do birthdays. Birthdays. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Brittany, this first birthday is going to get you really excited. Okay. Um, I don't, get me amped. Uh, Come out of your arm. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just so excited. I got to pump myself up oh, here, okay. okay? All right. Because it is Carlos Santana's birthday. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> Man, that's a hot one. We've been thinking about one forever. <laughs> so that's been the thing. Like, anytime someone's been saying, like, a lot of people say, "Man, it's a hot one," like, because it's been really hot lately. Mm-hmm. My reply for every time has been, "Like, it's seven inches from the midday sun." Yeah, yeah. And ninety percent of people don't get it. Super been. Yeah, super yeah, been yeah. On my mind. Franklin, stop eating that plastic bag. Is he eating a plastic bag? Stop it. We should kick him. Kicked the cat to the moon. He's like, he looked at me and went right back to it. He turned 70 years old today, born in 1947, the guitarist who blended rock with Latin American music and fronted Santana. He won the Best Out Rock Album and Album of the Year uh, Grammys for Supernatural, two of the eight total Grammys he won in 2000. Nice. So, and of course, that was the year that him and, uh... He got he got smooth on that one. I'm gonna get Frank mm-hmm. real quick because he's just going to town on going that to plastic town. Bag. Yeah, our cats are weird. They like to eat <gasps> plastic bags. They like that crinkly, that crinkly yeah, flavor. <laughs> Crinkle yeah. flavor. Ow. You all right? Yeah. A cheese wall. Show me. I want a cheese. Well, that is a cheese wall. I have no need for that cheese wall. <laughs> We can put it in our moon room. <laughs> well, I did get some flooring for the moon room. That is great. I don't think, I think we bought all the astronaut stuff yeah, through we here. Got Let's it see. All. I'm look through it anyway. Brittany, that's not it, though. We got another birthday today. Mm-hmm. It is also Chris Cornell's birthday. 
Born in 1964, the singer of Soundgarden, the group known for songs like Black Hole Sun and Rusty Cage, who is also a successful solo artist and frontman for the uh, band Audio Slave. Unfortunately, he died last year in 2017 at age 52. Hmm. So. <coughs> so whoa. whoa. Sorry, scared that came me. out of nowhere. I didn't mean to get you. It scared me. And you coughed on me. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but that's not it. If you have Yuka the Koala in your town, they like modern and white things, but nothing flashy. No Don't flashy Don't get them anything shit. flashy. No flashy stuff. So you were you never really knew any uh, Soundgarden or Audio Slave songs, right? Not really. I don't think so. I kind of grew up with it. So the um, the, their their main album like was on repeat by my mom. Yeah, it's probably the only grunge album that my mom got really into. Yeah, like she kind of liked Pearl Jam, kind of liked Nirvana, mm-hmm. but she was just like, yeah, Soundgarden. You, I like you. Yeah. Super into it, huh? Yeah. I like the Audio Slave, too. They were good. But, um, yeah. Well, right on. Right the fuck on. Thanks well, for gonna... visiting, Brittany. <laughs> right the fuck on. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to start working on our house a little bit more. House and, and also Gotta our, buy some stuff. our little thingies. I guess we need to go to the store a lot. I feel like we have a lot of money. I think that every day I should just buy everything in the store and then resell it. Okay. Uh, Just to get, like, more stuff in, maybe. And, yeah, like, yeah. fill up, like, the catalog so I can buy it later. Like, okay. Maybe I should do that. I don't All know. Right. Because there's, like, stuff that I'm not sure if I'll need it or not. Okay. But if I buy it, I can always I rebuy mean, it later. I mean, I've got way more money in my other town, so if you ever need more money, Well, the issue whatever. is not money. The issue is... Well, I'm just saying, like, if you run out after, like, buying oh, okay. everything, we can get I don't think money. I will, honestly. Yeah, I don't I think so I got a lot of money either. in the bank. All bank right. bank bank We got some blue flooring. Perfect. Yeah. That looks... That definitely looks like a museum floor. Yeah, told you. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. All right, well, we'll hang out in the moon room. All right. Maybe next week we'll work... Not <laughs> next week. Maybe tomorrow we'll work a little bit more on, mm-hmm. like, more well, We stuff. got the bug off tomorrow. Know. That's right, we got the bug off. Well, all right, well, I will make a list of some shit I need to get. All right. Be on the lookout. On the lookout. Bye. Yeah. Everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Catch you later.